This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Coventry artist Pastor Lou has been sentenced today to 33 months for his involvement in a group fight that occurred outside a bar in 2018. This is devastating news for his fans and anybody that has watched the channel for a long time will know that I've covered Pastor Lou's story from the very beginning, from his very first song in music, from the time that he got shot in the head and also all of the positive things that he's done because he's somebody that has turned his life around. So to be honest, I'm very surprised that he's received this sentence. And I'm going to explain the story so you can make your own mind up too. During the fight, Pastor Lou's friend, Fidel Glasgow, who is the grandson of an artist called Neville Staple, was stabbed outside Club M on Croft Road. He later died in hospital. Another man was also injured, believed to have belonged to the other side, who Pastor Lou and Fidel were fighting. No one has ever been charged with Fidel's murder and West Midlands police are actively still investigating it. We know so far is that just after 5.20 on the morning of the 1st of September there was a large um, group of people outside the in club in Coventry and then disorder broke out. There were upwards of 100 people present at that time in the streets. The judge said upon sentencing Pastor Lou that you are a young man and have already suffered the effects of this on your career. But I am confident, but I have observed that your career has flourished nevertheless. I understand that you were close to the man that was killed in the attack. And I know that you use your fame to help other people and also help people from disadvantaged backgrounds. These are factors that speak well of you and must be taken into account during the sentencing. They also mentioned that Pastor Lou was convicted for possession of a knife several years earlier. The judge said that at the end of the fight, there was one man dead and one man spending several days in hospital. The disorder was very serious and the judge had no choice but to see it that way, he said. During the sentencing, the defence asked the judge to consider a suspended sentence. The judge responded and said that the violent disorder was so serious that he couldn't consider this. He said the victim was pursued, cornered, brought to the ground and attacked with the intention of causing serious harm. The victim was named as Bobby in court and he suffered a stab wound to the left side of his body and he required immediate surgery. The victim was seen on CCTV running away from the group and he was pursued again for the streets and the defendants continued to attack him and members of the public had to avoid them during the fight. They said that Pastor Lou was holding a bottle that he'd picked up and he was aiming it towards the victim. The prosecutor explains that the victim was then pursued by Pastor Lou and others towards Queen Victoria Road and this was also caught on CCTV. They said that he then picked up a branch of a tree and repeatedly used it to strike him across the head. Four blows in quick succession, having also previously used the bottle. He then takes his belt out and kicks him and hits him also. And this is where the victim is kicked, whipped and struck with the bottle and also the bout again. The violence, they said, then continued into Coventry City Centre and the victim was struck with a bottle canister on three occasions and a number of times with the bout. The victim then ran away and managed to get into a car and, and escape the pursuers. Nobody noticed that the victim had been stabbed until afterwards and the court said they could not determine what weapon it was and whose hand it was that did it. The prosecution said the events took place outside a nightclub and it involved a large group of people. This was part of a wider music festival called the Godiva Festival that was going on at the time. Hundreds of people had attended the club that night. In terms of security, there was a knife arch in place and there were scanning people that were coming in and out. Violence before and after had broken out and the defendants armed themselves with weapons that they believed was hidden inside a car. So that is the summary of the trial that he's faced. And he's now got to spend the next few months in prison. After he's turned his life around and done so well in music and accomplished so much, this is terrible news. But hopefully he can come out, he can continue where he left off and not too much damage is done. So I really want to hear what people have to say on this. And don't forget to follow on social media as well at Scar City Studios. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news.